Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I wanted to give a tutorial about the NEO last chance trial. So this is for NEO 2 and uh, it's only going to be available uh, literally until the 1st of March 2020 so it's critical. Now um, if any of you are interested the reward for finishing this mission and defeating the last boss is you get an item which you can redeem for the main game when it comes out which you can only get during this trial. You can't get it ever again. That's why it's called the last chance trial. They did exactly the same thing during Neo 1. That's how I got into Neo was because of uh, seeing one of the streamers I watched called Maximilian Dude. Um, I just happened to log into his stream while he was playing the last chance trial for the first game. And I was like, hell yeah, I want to do this. So the second it came up for the second game, um, I was interested. Now I did play the first Neo. So as you can see, um, you don't actually have William, who was a character from Neo 1 in the second game, but if the game detects that you have got um, save files and install files of the first game on your your PlayStation, then it will um, allow you to transform, transform into William. But uh, generally, you start off with your own uh, character, which you can make. It'd be male, female, you customize the look however you like. Now, the way this game works, the way the trial works, you have these sort of um, blue um gravestones now these are assistants that you can actually summon uh to you and you need the ocho ococho cups in order to summon them to get those you have to kill revenants revenants are summoned from the red graves um as with uh, the other you know game you have the shrines and you can see uh, surrounded by the kodama what you can do here when you go here you can level up so here we go. I've, I've been I've been playing like for a couple of hours now. So you can level up right here as well. And also as well, you can um, make um, offerings to the Kodachi, which is a good way to recycle old gear. So you see here, make offering. So if we make an offering, let's see, I've got a lot of useless gear, which I simply don't need. Um, so for example, I've already got this level 66 legs. So I don't need all the other ones. If I just get rid of the other ones, then I can get elixirs, I can get other things out of it. Now, of course, when the main game comes out, I wouldn't recommend to recycle everything, like because you will be able to um, dismantle these um, and craft them into new items. But for the sake of the demo, I would say um, just offer all of them um, and use the whatever items you get in order to level up. Now, gear drops... Um, on a slowing increasing scale and that's how it is in games like this so initially you'll only get really crappy gear but the more you play the better gear that will drop all the time so make sure you always keep your gear up to date also as well the way the combat works is that you have different stances so holding r1 you can change from high stance to medium stance to low stance i would really recommend to go through the tutorial mode in order to learn how to do the game so i'm using a weapon called an odachi like Sephiroth's Masamune, and um, I have grown accustomed to the mid stance because I'm just used to this style um, of combat. But if I set it to low stance, then low stance generally will offer le um, quicker attacks that do less damage, but you're able to pull off more of them. Um, and high stance will use more and more of your stamina and hit harder, but you can see it's slower and leaves you more vulnerable to attack. What you also have in the game um, is something called key pulse. So if I drain my stamina, then just as those dots are surrounding me, I can press R1 to help restore my stamina quicker. So let me do it again. Like that. So in the middle of combat, is obviously you want to maintain your stamina. The last thing you want is to start um, going into fights and being drained. So... What you do, basically, you have to be careful in a game like this. So think of this game like Dark Souls or Bloodborne, whatever, those sort of games. Like, you can die really, really easily. So it's not like other games uh, where you're going to just mow down everyone with your sword. No, they, they can mow you down, like, really quickly. So you do have to keep in mind what's going on. Now, what I would recommend as well in terms of combat um, is simply, if you have to, especially at the beginning... Wait for them to attack, dodge it, um, slide away from it, whatever, and then counter. Like, or let them drain their stamina, and so on. Like, don't 
try and muscle your way through the game until you're much higher level than that your opponents. If you try and muscle your way through a game like this, like Neo, like Dark Souls, like all of them, then God, you're in for a very horrible time. You really are. And one thing I'd recommend as well uh, is to keep an eye out for any um, extras that you can find. So obviously this guy, we can't get to it because of this gate. There's nothing we can do. But we can find eventually a path to get to him. So um, ex exploration is also very useful in the game. To lock on to enemies, you press R3. So, and you see, so I've locked on to this guy. Um, to block, hold L1. And the main thing as well, that's a really big advantage, especially for the demo, is something called the burst counter. To do that, you press R2, hold R2, and then you press circle. But at the right time, you can burst counter enemies. So let me show you what I've what I've been learning along the way. So these little guys, um, stay away from them. There you go, that's a burst counter. When they're out of stamina, you can then do a big attack on them. It's not always a guaranteed kill, uh, but it's definitely good. So when you see the sort of red circle around them, just press triangle and they can be done with. So square is quick attack and um, triangle is strong attack. So let me do this. One thing I find as well that's really good um, with this sort of burst counter is that I just throw it into my rotation. So I do three quick attacks and then burst counter as my fourth attack. And um, always as well be mindful of pressing R1 um, at the right time to help restore your stamina. So guys at the very beginning you might find this game very very frustrating like even the simplest mobs will kill you but as you get your rhythm um, into the game as you level up more and so on and you get used to the weapon style and the, the, the attacks that the monsters do then um, believe me it get it trust me it gets easier it really gets easier and it'll, it'll probably if you're like me it only takes a couple of hours uh, to get into it if you have real problems with the game you could always um, summon friends and so on uh, summon random people from the the blue gravestones okay and then so like as you can see guys, I've, I've been playing this all day like, i've been having so much fun with this so like i said with the red ones you can see level six revenant so let's fight the revenants so all it is basically is a version of a, a actual player's character and do not underestimate them <laughs> at all. But it's, it's okay for me now because I, I, I've been doing this for ages, but um, don't un underestimate them at all. So you see, I got some Ochoco um, cups, and I can use those to summon um, a helper. So let's summon the helper. So again, this is a representation of another player, but it's controlled by an NPC. Now, when you have these sort of great auras, it means that it's a, a yokai mob, a more powerful mob, but you only have to kill them once. Once they're dead, they're dead forever until the end of the mission. If you want to fight them again uh, on a certain mission, then literally all you have to do is... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, all you have to do is start the mission again. Now, you can see these auras, the yokai aura that they left behind. This will really, really drain and slow down your you can see my stamina bar is going up really really slowly so the way to get rid of those one they can expire but two if you do your key pulse that that move while inside of those auras then um, you can dispel them completely okay and then in order to um, heal simply you assign uh, by default it's up on the d-pad you can see in the bottom left you have all these uh, different items which you can assign so the way you do it you simply assign um items to the uh, to the d to the d-pad so if i select for example elixir set a shortcut then i've set it there and um that, that's the way i do it so by default it's up but you can set different items for different things you'll get talisman as well which you can use uh by uh, training up magic but i don't want to really go into too far into that so, um, as I say, guys, um, just to keep this as uh, brief as possible, this last chance trial of 
Neo 2 is only available this weekend. It's downloadable, free, PlayStation 4. Go for it. If you can finish it and finish the last boss um, in time, then you'll get be able to redeem an item from the PlayStation Store, which <clears throat> you won't be able to redeem um, ever again. So it is your last chance to get the item. Um, it's just a cosmetic, but it's just a nice trophy to have. But, um, I feel happy that I've got the one from the original Neo and Neo 2. Neo 2, I believe, comes out in two weeks' time on the 13th of March. So and I will uh, try and cover the game and play it through because I said I really, really enjoyed Neo. I don't I really usually have a really hard time playing sort of soul born type games, but Neo 1 I actually did finish all the way. And the replayability is you can do it on harder settings, um, you can try different weapon styles, there's many different weapon styles, and you can also as well try and scour the entire levels looking for all the Kodama, those little green um, guys, because the more of them you find, um, the better it is for you. And it's just a sense of accomplishment as well that you've returned all of them to your shrine. So, yeah. So, that's it. And then if you want to do gestures, you might have seen people do gestures. There's literally click options um, on your controller, and then you can select which gesture you want. Yeah, nice. So, um, and you can see that there's many. It's like, no... Why? Why can I not play games 24 hours a day? Why do I have to sleep? Okay, guys. All right. So, um, like I said, I'm having a huge amount of fun with this game. Uh, please check it out while it's free, while you have a chance. It's a good chance to try the game, see if you like it before the main release, and decide if you're going to buy it or not. Okay. Right. So, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.